Brace yourselves, travel enthusiasts. We're about to embark on a thrilling journey through the top 10 places to visit in Lagos. The countdown from 10 to 1 is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Are you ready? Let's dive right into the heart of Lagos. Starting our countdown at number 10, we've got Tarqua Bay Beach. Not just your average beach, folks. This place is a gem that's full of surprises. Picture this. You're lounging on the sand when a vendor comes along, not just selling beach balls, but haggling the price like it's a precious artifact. A beach ball bargain? Now that's something you don't see every day. So if you're looking to get a tan while negotiating beach ball prices, Tarqua Bay Beach is your spot. Coming in at number 9, we have the Nike Art Gallery. And no, it's not a gallery of sports shoes. This art sanctuary is named after its founder, Nike Davies Okunday, not the famous sportswear brand. Imagine the puzzled faces when you tell your friends you spent the day at Nike, admiring art. The gallery is home to a vast collection of Nigerian art, each piece with a unique tale. So if you're searching for a place to appreciate art and confuse your sneakerhead friends, the Nike Art Gallery is waiting for you. Before we proceed, don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying the video so far. Show some love and comment below. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our Travel Best Places channel. Done? Brilliant. Let's move on with our countdown. Hold on to your seats, folks. We're taking a rapid-fire tour through numbers 8 to 5. Kicking off with the 8th spot, we dive into the serene wilderness of Lecky Conservation Center. Picture this. A city slicker, all suited up, attempting to navigate the longest canopy walkway in Africa. Let's just say, gravity had other plans that day. Moving on to the 7th position, we hit Elagushi Beach. Picture the sun, the sand, and a tourist determined to master the art of surfing. After several tumbles and a surprise hug from a wave, he finally rode, well, a foot into the water. The crowd went wild. At number six, we find Freedom Park, a place where history meets leisure. Here's a fun tale. A visitor once mistook a historical monument for a modern art installation and tried to interpret it. His insightful analysis of the struggle of the Nigerian chicken still echoes in the park. Finally, at number five, we have the Jazz Hole, a haven for music and book lovers. A funny thing happened there once. A man engrossed in a vintage vinyl record didn't realize he had an audience of amused onlookers as he passionately conducted an invisible orchestra. Phew, that was a whirlwind, but we're not done yet. We're getting closer to the top spot, folks. Here are numbers four to two. In the fourth place, we have the New Africa Shrine. This pulsating hub of music and culture is a must visit. You know, there was this one time when a concert got so lively that the crowd started a spontaneous dance-off. Picture this, two rival groups, each trying to outdo the other with the funkiest moves. It was a whirlwind of rhythm, laughter, and good vibes. Moving on to the third spot, the Batagree Black Heritage Museum. An important place of history, yes, but it does have its lighter moments. Like the time a visitor mistook a centuries-old artifact for a modern piece of art. The guide had to gently explain that, no, this wasn't a bold statement on existentialism but a relic from the transatlantic slave trade era. And in second place, the Kalakuta Republic Museum, a testament to the legendary musician Fela Kuti. There's a funny tale about a visitor who, inspired by the spirit of Afrobeat, decided to put on an impromptu performance. Let's just say, his enthusiasm was appreciated but his rhythm, well, that left much to be desired. Just one more to go, can you guess what it is? And finally, drumroll please. Coming in at number one, we have Victoria Island. This gem is the Manhattan of Lagos with skyscrapers that would make New York blush. And the nightlife? It's like Mardi Gras every night, minus the floats. You've got your luxury hotels, your fine dining and beaches that make every hour feel like golden hour. It's a slice of paradise in the hustle and bustle of Lagos. So, if you're planning a trip to Lagos, make sure Victoria Island is at the top of your list. And there you have it, folks the top 10 places to visit in Lagos. Don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, dropping a comment, and subscribing to the Travel Best Places channel. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Until next time, keep exploring.